Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are going to be talking about ratios and converting that ratio to a unit rate and then using that unit rate to solve um, a different situation as well as then create an equation connected to that unit rate. So this is a closure question. I'm taking this from CPM course three and this is chapter two closure. Okay. So let's read the question. Oh, number 96 is what I'm looking at. Molly bought 4.25 pounds, four and two, 25 hundredths pounds of fish for $10.20. It says, what is the unit rate cost per pound? So the information up top from that, I can write a ratio, right? I'm going to start by writing my ratio given what I have. Ratio, remember, is a comparison of two things. I'm comparing pounds of fish to cost, right? So a little hint, though, is I'm going to look at the unit rate they want, it, they want me to do. The unit rate they want me to do is cost per pound. So my ratio, I'm going to put the cost that I have on the top of the fraction. Cost and then pounds of fish on the bottom. So this is my ratio, right? So that's my ratio that I have that they gave me of $10.20 for 4.25 pounds of fish. Now, I need to do the unit rate though. Unit rate is cost per what? One pound, right? So the thing is, is I've got to get this fraction, right? This is just a fraction. A ratio is a fraction. How do I convert a fraction to have on the denominator a one? I want one pound is what I want in the denominator. That's a unit rate to have one in the denominator. Well, to get to be one, it would just be divide by 4.25, right? 4.25 times divided by 4.25 is one. So what you do to the bottom of a fraction, you always do to the top. So I need to figure out what is 1020 divided by 4.25 so I can you know, utilize a calculator here. So we're going to do uh, 10.2 divided by 4.25. And that gives me 2.4. So that says 2.4. What does that mean now? So up here, remember the numerator, the top of my ratio was cost. So if I convert this to cost, it's $2.40 for one pound. So that's how, that's that would be the unit rate right there. But some sometimes you see it this way, two dollars and forty cents for every pound. Right. So you can write a unit rate. A couple ways, two dollars and forty cents for one pound, two dollars and forty cents per pound. Or some people even use the word per instead of the fraction bar. That's your unit rate. OK. And LB stands for pound. All right. So now it says, what should six pounds of fish cost at that same rate? So if it's $2.40 per pound, then I need to take that and multiply it by six to find out how much it's going to cost for six pounds, right? So six pounds. It, again, think about this as a fraction, right? It's $2.40 for one pound. I need to know how much it is for six pounds. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by six, that giant one, if you will, of six. So that's one way of looking at it. So we're going to go six times $2.40. And we get $14.40. Okay. So it's $14.40 for six pounds. All right. So we can then take this idea of what we did here with the unit rate and create an equation relating them, right? So what? how do I find out cost in terms of pounds? Right. So if I think about it, what did I do? To find my cost, I multiplied the six times the unit rate. Six times unit rate is the total cost. That's my pounds. So my equation here would be the cost is equal to $2.40 times every pound, right? 
my cost is $2.40 times every pound. So that would be the equation that would represent this situation. The cost is equal to $2.40 times every pound. If it's one pound, $2.40. If it's six pounds, multiply six, that's what we did, six times $2.40 and got $14.40. All right, all right, I hope that helps.